Yaksha Mash. Bora joined a long list of movies to get the sequel no one asked for a decade later. Subsequent movie film follow number three news reporter in all of Kazakhstan as they go back to USNA to deliver gift to Vice Premier Michael Panis. If you like what you're watching, don't forget to give this video a like, drop the hammer on that subscribe button, and ring the bell to get all notifications for new movie reviews. As I mentioned before, this is a sequel that no one asked for or even knew was happening and comes out over a decade after the original was first released. Much of what makes Borat Borat is still there. He's an ignoramus of the most funny kind, and he makes us laugh hysterically at not only his ignorance, but that of the world he experiences. And that's what he's best at doing, and that talent is still very much there. Sasha Baron Cohen is still as watchable as ever as the bumbling journalist. However, there are an abundance of things that separate this film from the original. This go around, Borat has a more compelling screen partner in the form of his daughter, played wonderfully by Maria Bakalova. This film also takes place as to what feels like yesterday as mid-story. The film adapted to satirize the COVID-19 pandemic, and that improvisation on the part of the production is quite impressive. Not to mention, there's a crazy twist at the end when it comes to the pandemic as well. The last half hour or so of this movie is very nice, to say the least. This return to America might not be quite as funny as Borat's first outing. It's a bit too pointed towards polarizing figures instead of ideas and themes. But it's quite clear that the concept of Borat hasn't lost its edge amidst PC and cancel culture, and boy is that refreshing. Subsequent movie film manages to somehow be even more brazen than the 2006 original film, and made me ask yet again, how'd they get away with that? While it might not be quite as good as the first, Borat's subsequent movie film is a rollicking sequel I never expected to get that comes at a time when we might need Borat the most. I'd love to hear what you thought of Borat's subsequent movie film. Is it just what we needed during these stressful times we live in, or is it too little too late? Be sure to give this video a like, smack that subscribe button, and hit the bell to get all notifications for more movie reviews.